Hi, right, welcome along everyone. So, Jan says to me the other day, you know, the house doesn't seem to be getting as warm as it did. And uh, I can't work out what's happening. So it's set at the same temperature we always like. It was around about 19, 20. And uh, it just doesn't seem to be getting that warm. In fact, uh, it's just a little bit chilly. Do you think you can have a look at it? So I decided to investigate. And guess what? <laughs> Yes, the new hat stand, <laughs> and even I didn't twig it straight away, has kind of been placed right here in front of, guess what? Oh yes, there it is. There, there is the room thermostat. And of course, it is not getting much air around that, is it, to get the temperature about right? But it did make me think of something else to do with stats and the hallways that could actually be a problem in houses and it come to me today to make a little video about this. So here we have my hall radiator and it's strutting along there and it made me realise that this hall radiator is pretty quick critical isn't it this hall one. Now there's my valve down there, I've, I've, it should have a lock shield one but it's kind of a lock shield on this end but although it's got a turn grip one on there that's just so I can adjust it easily when I want to tame it down a little. Of course, by that I mean balancing the system. And the other end of the radiator, of course, I have this thermostatic radiator valve. Now, in years gone by, the whole rad, if it had a stat in the room, you wouldn't have a thermostatic rad valve. This rad should be governed the right size with the water flowing through it. It would give the right temperature for the whole, all of the house so that the radiators reach optimum temperature. But, you know, I kind of think I've gone away from that idea and realised that I think a thermostatic rad is a good idea after all. Now, this video only applies to all of you with wall mounted thermostats, all of you with hives and such for where you can move the thermostat round to room to room, no problem. You can take it in your main lounge and get that room exactly nice how you want it. But even so, you could get really warm in there and the rest of the house could be cooler. It depends on the size of the room and how accurate the sizing for the radiators are and what temperature the thermostatic radiator valves are set to. So, I fitted this thermostatic rad valve on here so I could more accurately control the heat in the hall so I can get it exactly where I want it so because of the room thermostat being mounted on the wall there I want it to be the same temperature accurately to turn the stat on and off so that the other rooms in the house can also reach the same kind of temperature I don't want this radiator to be too hot in that what could happen then of course is that the thermostat turns off and the rest of the house would actually be cold, cold instead of where it should be. <laughs> so you walk out in the hall, that's nice and hot, but every other room is cold because the room thermostat has turned off. Now I know everyone can say, oh well you could just turn the room thermostat up, but then you're turning it up to 22, 23 and making the hall really hot, a lot hotter than it should be, just to get the rest of the house up to the right temperature you like, say at 21. So, and the other thing could happen the other way, if you had a too small a radiator in the hall, then the other thing, reverse, can happen. It's never actually getting, say, 21. And therefore, it's the rest of the house is, is cooling for heat all the time. And the rest of the house can actually get too hot. The hallway never quite reaching the temperature. And you find you've got to actually turn the stat down for it to reach the temperature to turn off in the hall but by then the rest of the house is really hot so this is a very critical function so I kind of realised that a while back that actually a thermostatic rad valve in the hall if you have a wall mounted thermostat there is a good idea to get that temperature attuned about exactly right for the rest of the house and the temperature so you can actually get a temperature gauge is what I did and uh, waited till it got to 70 and made sure of the room thermostat twitched over at that same degrees at 70 and that then the other rooms were also around about 70 the ones that i wanted where i'd set the thermostat to that kind of temperature if you see my meaning sounds a bit technical but it's not really so i think actually they are a good idea okay that's it then See you next time. You have to go all my stuff, the usual place, Derrett and 33. Plumbing tips galore. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye bye.